Hi, Donna here with History Be Told Ministry Ministries. Um, here with our morning reading for uh, today, we'll be reading Revelation 7. But of course, I'm going to start out with Revelation 1 3 that says, Blessed it is he who reads and those who hear the words of the prophecy and heed the things which are written in it, for the time is near. Uh, so remember, listening or reading these this prophecy is a blessing for us. But we also have to heed the things that are written in it. Um, so again, if you have any comments or a verse that sticks out to you, please put it in the comment section below. We will go ahead and get started with Revelation 7 as soon as I get over to that chapter here. Okay, so Revelation 7 says, After I saw four angels standing in the corner at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth so that no wind would blow on the earth or the sea or on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, having the seal of the living God, and he cried out with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea. One moment. Saying, do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the bond servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were seated, 144,000 sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. From the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. And from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. The tribe of Gad, 12,000. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. From the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. From the tribe, tribe of Simeon, 12,000. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000. From the tribe of Issachar, 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. From the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. From the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. After these things, I looked and behold a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation and all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes and palm branches, which were in their hands. And they cry out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. Sorry the lighting's so bad, Joe. I apologize. And all the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne, and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory, and wisdom and thanksgiving, and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then the elders answered, saying to me, These who are clothed in white robes, who are they, and where have they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation, and they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God, and they serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tabernacle over them. They will hunger no longer, nor thirst any more, nor will the sun beat down on them or any heat. For the Lamb in the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and will guide them to the springs of the water of life, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. So, of course, you know, I got to pick out a verse. Um, um, hold on. Verse 9, Revelation 7, verse 9. After these things I looked, and, a great mul and behold, and a, a great multitude which no one could count, from every nation and all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, and palm branches were in their hands. Um, and I'm just going to put 10 as well. And they cry out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. So that's it. If you have any comments or anything that stands out, um, please put the comment in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day. Bye.